Alright, Ethan. Ethan, you're with Lieutenant Reyes. Yes, sir. Spark in favor. Of the Olympus models. You were defeated. Death 
Alder thinking. Strategic maneuvers are above my pay grade, Lieutenant. Alert the bridge. Tell him we're coming up to see Captain Alder. The bridge has been locked down since he attacked. Ethan, you and Gibson do as she says. Roger that. What's the count, boss? How many made it back? Scar 2s are in the net. After that, you're it. Son of a bitch. Look at this. We need FaceTime with the captain. Yeah. We don't sacrifice our crew when we're overrun. Let's get to the bridge. Maybe I be pushed now. Smell a pulse with the ball thing. Half these guys went down in the crash maneuver, never fired a shot. They should have grabbed us. I couldn't have much of a parade now, huh, Lieutenant? Or it is your scar team is pretty good. Captain protects his men, so he should have pulled back. Let's do it. I'll help you, Lieutenant. Staff Sergeant Omar? No easy call, your captain, mate. Uh, cost us some good men. Didn't have to happen. Not like that. All due respect. Captain did his duty. He drove the enemy into retreat. Captain's duty is to get his men home alive, Staff Sergeant. No always, Lieutenant. No always. Make way for the captain. Where is he, boats? Where's Captain Alder? Right here, sir. Gator. Captain's dead. Went down with his ship. XO? No longer with us, ma'am. All this happened in the crash? 
Yes, sir. So who has the con, Gator? Is the highest ranking officer on board? I believe you do, sir. Destroyer Tigris is docking a shuttle to come aboard. Roger that. You spinning radar? Still turning, sir. Get Raven transport set for evac. I want our casualties outbound right away. Drop officer, coordinate with engineer and get us mobile. Roger. Engineer McCollum's on our way. Staff Sergeant, can we count on your help? You'll have what you need from me, Lieutenant. Salt, you with me? Always. Gator, get the Admiral on the line. Copy. Comms officer, Stratcom, Topcat Sovereign. Roger. Tigris captain on deck. Captain Farron. Lieutenant, who's in charge here? Lieutenant Reyes, SCAR team leader. Captain, your ship and crew? Intact. Sir, Admiral Reyes is on the line. Put him through. Captain Farron, ladies, gentlemen, it's good to see you. Sir. Let me make our situation absolutely clear. We are now at war with the Settlement Defense Front. Due to Captain Alder's use of force, the enemy was driven into retreat. At this time, Tigers and Retribution are the only operable ships we have. Our course of action moving forward is to buy Earth time while we rebuild our fleet. Understood, Admiral. Tigris is prepared for tasking. Today's attack was not limited to Geneva. Set Def launched a concurrent strike on the Moon Gateway port, and those cargo terminals received freight critical to rebuilding our fleet. So your mission is to retake that port. Lieutenant Reyes, I'm promoting you to the rank of commander. You are now the acting captain of Retribution. Roger that, Admiral. Keep the enemy away from home. Godspeed, Captains. Topcat out. We've got no air wing. We'll go without it. That's how we do things in the infantry, Lieutenant. We'll insert the Marines from Retribution. I'll provide overwatch from Tigris. Let's go to work, Captain Reyes. Stay sharp out there, all of you. You too, Captain. You got some shoes to fill now, Captain. We've got limited boots and guns. Lieutenant Salter and I will deploy with you. This is a ground assault. Captain's place is on the bridge. Not this, Captain. Not today. Marines take point. You ride in with us. See how the view changes. Muster on the well deck at five, Staff Sergeant. Copy. Get us going, Gator. Lunar Gateway. Aye, sir. Plotting your course. We'll notify when ready, Captain. Commander Reyes. Captain Alder's operations office is now yours. Be advised his effects are still in place. Thanks, Boats. For the indomitable Captain John Alder. The captain is dead. Long live the captain. Hey, Nick. Yeah? You can do this. You're the best we've got. High praise coming from you, Nora. You earned it, Raider. I'll give you a moment. Get on the report. C minus. 
purposely used pencil. Immediate grounds for detention and an extra hour was Miss Trill Scott. Mission accomplished. But I like school. Six hours a day of regimented, repetitive instruction. Sounds familiar. Lockstep marching, dressing alike, and following the rule. A little structure and group mentality can soothe the soul, Lieutenant. Soldiers aren't sheep, Chief. Not at all. But every machine's got cogs, springs, pins, coils, innocuous by themselves. But put them in their proper place and you got something powerful and precise. That ain't sheep. Miss Trill Scott taught you well, Griff. I'm an over my pay grade when it comes to the finer points of war, Lieutenant. But I'll be damned if you can't find some solace in the simple beauty of a sidearm. Okay, you ready to face the music? Always. Born ready, flyboy. All right. So, Admiral Raines, a man of great wisdom, has ordered us... Are you brown-nosing right now? <laughs> You're totally brown-nosing. This is the Navy. I believe the proper term is blue-nosing. May I continue? Please. Thank you. As part of the Admiral's progressive command decree, our evaluation process includes an interview to be filed by a squad made of lateral rank in this case. That's yours, truly. Be advised, I will be recording my interview with you as well, so watch your ass. Tread accordingly, Lieutenant. Noted. Let's talk a little bit about your disciplinary record. Let's not. It's on the list, so... <sighs> Go ahead. You had some issues with Major Kenny. Major Kenny was a major blowhard, and he was full of shit. And his wife was a stuck-up broom rider. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to edit this. Whatever. Uh, well, to keep things copacetic, just tell the snake shit story. <laughs> you are gonna have to edit this. I know. So, I overhear this guy in a bar talking about having the record for flying low. Says he can fly under snake shit. So I chime in. Of course you do. And I tell him that you can only tie the record for flying low. Right, especially if you're just landing or crashing. Bingo. So I see the guy the next morning on the way out to the transport, and I say, Good morning, snake shit. And he says... That's Major Snake shit, Lieutenant Salter. <laughs> and that was Major Kenny. <laughs> One of the same. Never got back on track after that. Uh, you buzzed his house in San Anselmo while his wife was hosting the officer's wives club formal in the backyard, so... I was doing a little low flying myself. Apparently made quite a mess. You were grounded. Several times. But when the Major retired, he signed the petition for my distinguished flying cross, so... Hey, guess he got over it. Why should you be re-upped? I have everything it takes in spades. I understand risk. I multitask like a mother really well. And I take myself and the equipment to the peak of proficiency. Plus, I can beat anybody like a drum. Shit goes down, you want me up. That's for damn sure. Can't argue with that. Better not. All right, I think my work here is through. Get ready, Reyes. You're next. I'm not nice like you. Roger that, Fever. My eyes deceive me, or is there a big-time jack pilot on my bridge? Figured I'd come and see how the other half lives. So, to what do I owe the pleasure? Just checking in, Gator. Bullshit. You're doing recon for eight highly trained aviators who wouldn't be caught dead poking around up here. I'm on a mission. Mm-hmm. I knew it. Let me guess. Operation Why the Hell Was the Admiral on board? Am I right? Actually didn't know the Admiral was here. We saw Captain Alder and half the Stratcom skip a two-martini breakfast and do a walkthrough. Oh, something's up. Who are you? Coin toss. Don't buy that either. That's your squadron. They look up to you. Yeah, if they're sitting and I'm standing, maybe. So what can't you tell me that I can't repeat? I got these images from Captain Alder this morning. Spotted by defense spectroscope, deep field scan. It's gigantic. Holy shit. About 300 meters on us lengthwise, maybe 50 wide. Big enemy ship. Tough to find a parking spot, that's for sure. I'm getting antsy. The good lord wanted the Navy on terra firma, he'd have made the sky brown. Pilots make bad pedestrians. <laughs> no one's ever collided with the sky. Granted, the retribution handles like a brick in the bay, but... We got the old girl dialed in. You think they'll cancel the Fleet Week festivities? Over a grainy picture? <laughs> Bad chance. Cancel evolution over the Loch Ness Monster. 
Lots of confetti and tons of pride tied up in this thing. Show sure must go on. I'd feel better if we were on patrol. I agree with you, but I'll deny it on the road. I'll rat you out. Yeah, well, just remember, I control the welding from up here. Those plasmapheric winds get awful tough if you're inadvertently locked out. <laughs> I can always sick salt around you. The nuclear option with the ponytail. Thanks for the intel, Gator. Come and see us more often. the bridge. Commander, drop prep is complete. Course is plotted. We are primed to drop on your go, sir. Sir. Here's battle ahead, sir. I know you'll prevail. As XO, I suggest we push off, Captain. We have our orders. Ready. Sir, your key now has activation clearance for the fast travel drop ignition. Check. Switch is set. I have Tigers Captain Ferret for the commander. Patch it. Captain, Tigers will drop in outside the area of operation. Once Red joins, we'll hold position until your Marines are ready. Good flight. Out. On you, Captain. Go for drop. Position the lands up. Go away in three, two, one. CPU fire. Bridge sector three. Status? Location accuracy is 0.97. All integrity below normal. Can we make it, Gator? I'll get us in. Steady as she goes. Exiting the slip. Influx in three, two, one. <laughs> Yes, man. Got it, Lieutenant. Commander Tiger is set to first air support. Notify when your Marines are staged for insert. Tiger is standing by. Let's bug out. You got the con, Gator. Aye, sir. Lieutenant, Captain, I'll see you to the armory. 